All right, guys, what is up? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. I need to make sure that I finish filming the series in the next, or not really filming, but recording the series in the next four days. Otherwise, Sean's going to take his PVR back and I'm going to be screwed. Um, yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. So now, for the first time, we're going to have full control over Peach for a little bit. And instead of playing as Mario, we're going to play as Peach. And she even has a little partner following her around, except it's a stupid little baby star. Oh, a photo of Mario. Don't look at that. Um. <laughs> puts on makeup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Powders her face. There's something behind this drawing. It's a button. Yay. Yeah, this becomes a pretty important part of the whole peach process. Going behind the uh, fireplace. You'd think it'd be hot. Just saying. She walks over it like it's nothing. Now there's a button right here. You don't know where it leads. You press it anyway. Of course. I mean, that's just the thing to do in video games. And you end up in, like, Bowser's room, Bowser's study, maybe. Uh, there's no bed, which is why I would call it a study over a room. Uh, and by Bowser's... I mean, you have to use your imagination a little bit. Because, you know, this isn't Bowser's castle, this is Peach's castle, but at the moment, Bowser's taking it over, hence his study. Okay. Anyway, what the actual room would serve, or what the actual purpose of this room would be... Um... Before Bowser took it over, I don't know, but for now I'm pretty sure it's Bowser's study. Because this is his diary. Just saying. So we're going to read his diary. Day. Whatever. I don't speak that. Today I went to Star Haven and stole a star rod. Now I'm invincible. Cool! I also captured the seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work, and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. <laughs> I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. <laughs> really, Twink? Oh god, okay, so he's just telling the story from Bowser's perspective. Day X slash X. Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario. Diary. <laughs> he even set free that stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I can barely write. Oh, I'm Mario, I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario could save the star spirit behind, or being held in dry, dry ruins. So, boom. Dry, dry ruins, dry, dry desert. That is the important part. That's where we need to go next. Uh, reading Bowser's diary always leads to a hint. And, of course, we get captured. We, or, we get found out. We get caught. Uh, when he comes back to look at his diary. Like, oh, God, I can't believe I left it open. And... For whatever reason, they don't notice the little star spirit hiding behind the chair. Then again, it's Bowser. He's pretty dumb. Bowser can execute a plan, like the beginning of a plan, but he's kind of like uh, Professor Calamitous in the fact that he can't actually completely pull it off. He can't just capture all of them, you know, like the entire Mario ga gang, and just hold them hostage. It ends up Peach is walking around willy-nilly, around her castle, you know, guards, only if she ends up getting caught with the secret passageways that she has in there. And in Super Princess Peach, when he captures Mario and Luigi, Peach ends up going like Rambo with an umbrella on him. So he wants to explain star powers and star energy. I don't care. What, what it does is each star spirit will give you another ability. It costs a certain amount of star points to use. And not star points, sorry, but like star power. And you have a thing at the top of your screen, uh, which I will show now. Please. Yes. Underneath my HP. Oop, sorry, wrong button. Underneath my HP, there is now a little star with a line next to it. That is one star power. And uh, I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. So yes, one star power. And the ability that he has for me right now heals me for five in both HP and flower power. And it will cost one star power. It can only be used in battle, I believe. Other star spirits might have an ability that does damage, but costs, say, three star power. So, that's basically how it works. It's just an extra special ability. 
And now we have an FP plus. So, if I wanted to, instead of having 5 bonus health, or instead of power jump, and um, dizzy attack, if I wanted to put on extra flower power, I could do that. It also costs 3 badge power is basically the point I'm trying to get at. And it increases your flower power by 5. But now, um, we just gotta start making our way back. Uh, we gotta go back to Toad Town, it's the main uh, place, it's like, you know, uh, it's the rendezvous point after every mission, is I guess how I want to describe it. And I'm not going to even bother cutting this match, or er, this battle out, mainly because I'm lazy and I finally blocked a spike to Goomba's attack. Blocked a whole damage off of it. And now, uh, there's Focus and Refresh. So, yeah, um, it cures Poison, Shrink, which are both status ailments, and it increases your H er, recovers 5 HP and Flower Power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Bomb. And that does 5, because I don't think I've actually used... Maybe, maybe I have used it and shown off how much it does against people that don't have any defense. So now I'm going to use Refresh just to show off what it does. So now, yeah, Eldstar comes out. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Ding. Those were my sound effects for that. Um, yeah, pretty pathetic sound effects, I know. Now with Focus, instead of just generating a little tiny bit of star power back every turn, I gain about half of the meter back. So two of those will uh, give me one star power. Now I can kill off the Spike Goomba and get a star point from him. And voila! I have now demonstrated an important ability and can cut all of these useless battles for now. And uh, I will meet you back at the next important part of the journey. Good. Now uh, you'll notice pretty soon that we're, we're getting back. Uh, I used some flower power by accident. I used Coop's, or I mean Cooper's power shell ability, ability incorrectly and I used it again afterward just to make sure I didn't take any damage from the fight, forgetting that I could get infinite hearts from that little dancing guy. So I'm down on flower power a little bit, that's basically what I'm trying to say. And we're nearing the point that I wanted to show you guys, so uh, I just decided to stop the whole cutting thing and start recording again, just to make sure I didn't miss anything important. And honestly, yeah, this is a stupid fight. I should have waited an extra... Should have waited an extra whole, uh... What is it? An area, I guess. Instead of starting to record in this area. Because there is something we have to do before we get back to uh, Toad Down. There is a new... Well, I don't want to say new. It's more of a blast from the past at this point. Uh, you'll notice that there's no enemies on this path for some reason. And the bush is talking to us. Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> and guess who's back? I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Wah! Great water splashing effects. Climbs back up. And okay. Yeah, all right, buddy. Who's this kid? Let me get this straight. He wants to challenge you? He's got to be kidding. Shut up! You, Mario, of course you remember me. Nope. What? Darn it, you don't remember me? Listen, you. You big lug. Lug? My name is Junior Troopa. Remember it and tremble. After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. Oh, yeah, this poor kid. Hey, this is that... Someone should caption this guy, like a picture of this guy, as any raging, like, flaming person on the internet. Seriously. He... If this game was made, like, 10, 15 years in the future, he'd probably literally be a satirical representation of that on purpose, instead of predicting the future as to what Internet Ragers would look like. And he wants to show off a new skill, so, uh... Yeah, never, I never have seen anything like this before. It gives him a defense point, is basically the big catch with this fight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Bomb off exactly how much defense he has. That's right, it is exactly one. He should only have about 10 HP, similar to the Bowser thing, I believe. Don't absolutely quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's close. Who knew Mario had such battle skills? It's not even... It's not over yet, though. Yeah! 
Yeah, seriously, this kid. Yeah, and he also does two damage naturally now. He doesn't have to use anything special. So because I'm feeling so low, I need to refresh. Make sure I get all that HP back. And look, full HP again. But the really important part here is that I can use Bomb again. And yeah, that's going to do a lot more damage. He's probably got about 1 HP right now. Maybe not exactly, but if if he does have 10, 10 HP like I would estimate he would, then yeah, this is going to finish him off. It looks like he has more than that. Okay. I was wrong. Oh, no, no. I thought he had 10 HP. He doesn't. I'm somewhere between 15 and 20, I guess. Still not making this fight tough. It just makes the fight longer. To be honest. Yeah, okay. It was, it was 15 HP, so 3... If I had full flower power, it would have been three turns. Still goes to show you, not too tough of a fight. And you can hit him with your hammer if you want. And he just kind of yells. You talk to him. He's... Yeah, okay. Doesn't really change much. Now, I don't know how long I recorded the first half of this. So I'm just going to get to a good, a good spot to stop it and then stop when I can. And now Twink finds us again. Um... Because he read the diary. B Bowser's diary. So he wants to tell us a little secret. Which, I mean, obviously at this point doesn't really aid us with our journey. Because we already know that we have to go to Dry Dry Desert. And then go to the Dry Dry Ruins. Uh, in order to find the next star spirit. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to save here quick. I don't know why. Because I'm going to be saving somewhere entirely different in just a second. Hey mister! My dad's opened a shop. Don't you want to take a look? It's really cool. It's a badge shop for badges. Come on, check it out. I don't really know what accent to give this guy. Because uh, I'm not really giving people accents, but if I were to give someone an accent. So this increases the distance I can spin dash, which is actually really useful for getting around. Um, but I really don't. I don't want any of these badges, I'm pretty sure. This is kind of cool. First attack. If you if you get a first strike on a really weak enemy, um, it just kills them instantly. So it's it's good for getting through weaker areas if you don't want to actually have to engage in all those fights. Um, and I believe the definition of a weaker enemy means that it doesn't yield any star points. And then this hurts an enemy and disables their defense. It's a good badge, I'm not going to lie. Like, it has a great effect. Like, breaking people's defense is really useful. It's just not what I need. So I'm just going to make sure I hit all the trees, because at this point, I don't have the placement of any more star points completely memorized. Now we can go over here quick. Talk to this guy. Beyond here lies dark and gloomy forever for us. He'll get lost for sure, so I'd advise you not to enter. And I entered this area, and I didn't even mention the fact that this is this was completely blocked off before, and now it's open. That's pretty important to uh, note. So in here we have a cooking shop, which becomes very useful later. But right now I don't want to deal with her and her antics. This is locked, I believe. Yes, it's locked from the inside. I will unlock that later. Do not worry. And down in this area we have the sewer, I guess. Or maybe this is the private area. I'm not sure which. It, it is the sewer, okay. And by private area, I, I meant game area. Here you need to be able to ground pound. Here, you need a special hammer. Over here, how's my HP doing? You know, I think I'm going to save this whole sewer deal for next episode, and we're just going to finish exploring the town for this episode. So let's go talk to this guy. He says pee a whole bunch of times. Puff! And he gives me a magical seed. And that's... You need to collect basically four magical seeds in order to access an area, like an entire Star Spirits area in this game. Now this should be the game center. I don't think that's what it's called, but yeah. Let's talk to this guy. Oops, wrong thing. Okay, so yeah, my throat definitely hurts. I'm sorry about that. Definitely hurts. Oh, so I keep breaking my sentences in order to drink water. But I want to get this recorded. I only have a week. I have a deadline for the first time ever. 
And yeah, this tree has nothing. This is called Little Oinkers, I think. Little Oinks, maybe. Little Oink. Okay. It's an absolute wonderful way to waste 10 coins. Yeah, I know! Oh, I didn't want to learn about them. Watch. You waste 10 coins. That thing turns. <laughs> a little, like, marble gets shot out of it. It's an egg. But when you hit it with your hammer, it turns into a piggy! I used to waste all of my coins on this when I was young. Oh my god, it was the best time of my life. Other than, well, you know, I can save my wonderful childhood Super Smash Brothers stories for other days. What up, Mario? Like slides? The slides on Mount Rugged are the coolest. Yeah, some are kitty-sized, but there are also there are also huge ones that laugh you way, launch you way out. Wow, I thought that launch said laugh, and I was like, what kind of typo is this? And then I realized it was my brain. Damn. That was that was pathetically terrible. So now I cleared that rock in front of the train, and they will say that, look, we can go to the Dry Dry Desert now. Or Mount Rugged. My bad. Mount Rugged leads to Dry Dry Desert. But we're not done exploring town. And that is how I want to make... Uh, that's how I want to end off this video. I want to just go around the town a little bit. And I should be pressing A after every jump. Um, if... If you remember before, I went to the right, and there was like a guard, and then he was talking about a forest. We're not going to bother with that until we actually need to. There's a really creepy looking guy right here who just basically wastes your money and doesn't really give you a good deal. We can't get back here because there's a lock, so I guess it's probably his safe house or like his, his storage area. We will eventually be able to go back there though, so that's uh, not really, I guess, cool, but uh, definitely good to remember. There's some girls in the house. I don't really want to talk to them. I like how you can just walk into people's houses because you're famous. You're a famous Italian. You can just walk into anyone's house. It doesn't matter. Famous Italian plumber. Made from made in Japan. And this house. Uh, there's a uh, little... I don't really know what this is. It's like a mat, maybe? I don't even know what to call it. And mat in the corner. Some boxes. I can't hear the music, but there might be a little bit of a music change when I walk over here. This house is very, very important later in the game. Just like how the seeds are very important later in the game, but we can't do anything with them yet. And uh, there's a club. This is Club 64. Um, you can talk to this guy. Um, I don't really do anything in this area of town except the like two important parts which involve a whale and uh, actually a whale and the inside of a whale so if I can remember how to get on top of these boxes that'd be greatly appreciated instead of looking like an idiot um oh right you go around I'm dumb I'm sorry that, that stumped me as a kid, and it just stumped me again now, so I am definitely disappointed in myself. Oh, look at that! Do you see that little fish right there that's swimming? Um, I could be wrong, but I think that fish ends up turning into a giant whale. So, I definitely want to check back on him later. But I'm going to end the episode off once I find a save block, uh, just because... I want to spend the next episode getting A to Mount Rugged. Before I do that, I want to explore the sewer a little bit. So, I'm going to end the episode off here. I'm going to go save, heal, and then we're going to go into the sewer. Uh, and that'll be kind of fun. Kind of gross, but kind of fun.